Hey, welcome back everybody to Rivera Urban Homestead. Um, today I'm going to plant a couple of tomato seeds to start getting ready for springtime. I like to start them under the lights. That way I get a nice big plant that's ready to go out. Here in Florida I can plant them out early, February if I wanted to, probably January. So we're going to get them started. We're going to let them grow in here for a couple of months and then we're going to get them out in the spring garden. Two types I am growing is, I grew this one last year, the uh, yellow gooseberry. Grew that one last year. And then also, this time I'm going to try Boxcar Willy. A few different channels have had it on. They said they really enjoy them. So, we're going to do these two. So what I have is I got my indoor soil that I made. Basically what it is is the black cow manure compost, mushroom compost, and um, a bag of organic potting soil. So I mixed it all together, made it nice. Oh, and of course vermiculite. You always put vermiculite in. So let me get you down here a little closer so you can take a look. Okay, so here's my potting soil I'm going to start with. It's nice, and if you squeeze it really tight, it still falls apart. That's where that vermiculite comes in handy to keep it nice and broke up. So all I'm going to do, I use these little clear plastic cups. You can see when they're drying out. You can see when the roots are getting all the way around. You kind of know when to transplant them before they get too root bound. Just kind of sticks them in there like that. Push it down a little. A little more. That's it. Boom. I do half and then push it down that way just the bottom is getting you know the bottom is a little more compact just for when the roots start developing they have something to grip to. Nothing hard just a nice little press. Alright and the fourth one Boom. All right, so let me get you up to the table here and we will get these planted. Okay, so now all I'm going to do literally is just put a hole about a quarter inch, don't have to be too deep. I'm going to do two boxcar willies in each hole on two of these and then I'm going to do two that easy. One, two. One, two. Okay. Boxcar willies in. And now the yellow gooseberries. And then after that I'll just water them in. Once they're watered in they'll just kind of sit. Should start germinating within a week. And um, then we'll pick the best plant. Usually what I do is I take the first plant that comes out, but sometimes I like to just wait and see what they do. Okay. And that's it. Let me show you my setup of when they start growing. Okay, so here's my setup. Nothing fancy. Just a fluorescent light, two T5s on this one. You know, have a table set up. This actually is a lemon plant. See the spikes on it? I don't know if I could zoom in on a spike, but probably not. But they have it has little spikes on it and I wasn't sure what it was for a while until I started thinking about it because I actually planted a seed and then yeah there's the spikes so I planted a lemon seed totally forgot about it it was sitting up on top of a bookcase and then I saw a plant growing out of it and so I took it down started watering it put it in a little bigger pot and 
Yeah. I got a lemon plant. That's a pretty cool lemon tree. And here's just my army of seeds. I keep it in an ammo can. That works out really well, actually. But, so yeah, those will go under the lights. Once they germinate, they will go like literally right under the light. You want them pretty much as close to the light as possible because you don't want them getting all long and stringy like this lettuce I'm trying to grow inside. See how long and runny it is, man? The stems are huge. It's because I have them too far away from the light. There's kale, long kale. <laughs> so I should have put them closer to the light, but anyway, these guys will get watered in and then I will do an update on them. One thing I am going to tell you that I have not done that I'm going to do right when I get off the air is label which ones are what. So I'm definitely going to label boxcar willies here, yellow gooseberries there, and the date I planted them. And that's it. We will see you back here on another episode. Have a good night, and I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. Bye. Okay, so while I was editing my little tomato, yay, put seeds in the ground real quick or in the cups, um, I kind of thought that wasn't enough to make a video, so I wanted to show you a clip from yesterday when I um, harvested some of my salad, my kales, my lettuces. I had enough that I harvested that it filled up a big plastic Rubbermaid bowl. I ate three bowls of it for dinner and I had a nice big bowl left for work today. So I didn't do a I'm sorry, I didn't do a video of me harvesting, but this is just what I got from it. And then after that, I think we'll go out in the garden and just show you real quick how the kale and lettuces are coming along in that square foot section. And um, have been harvesting a couple of peppers also. So let me show you this of how much I got, and then we'll go take a look at it. All right, guys, I snuck out in the garage for a minute while my little man is watching cartoons, the teenagers on the video games and I have a moment of silence. So I just wanted to show you what I harvested from my square foot bed today after work. I actually got quite a good haul, minus these peppers. Obviously these are some of my Jimmy Nardellos. Um, been getting quite a few of them. So they're pretty tasty, I like to eat them. And I got a pretty good sized bowl. I mean, there's my hand, it's big. And we're gonna fill it up, man. Uh, first thing I have, this is a specimen of the Lettuce Butter King over there. Real nice, just soft, light green, really tasty, kind of buttery, soft lettuce. So I got quite a bit of that harvested. These other lighter, butterier, softer ones are those right there, the lettuce um, tom thumb, delicious, cute little or or heads. I'm sorry, I just uh, harvest the outer leaves on all of it. Um, here's some curly kale. More kale. I actually got quite a bit of kale, which is good. I like kale. Um, that's a good one. Filling up my bowl here, more of the Tom Thumb and the Butter King. Yep, there's another Jimmy Nardello in there. Those are nice peppers, I like them. And now, um, more kale, and here's some of the dinosaur kale that I started to get. A little bit darker green, bigger. Right there, they get really big. I mean, my plants are all still pretty small, whether it be because of the um, extra heat. It's December 1st right now, and it's still like 81 degrees outside. The low this morning when I was going to work at 6.30 was 72, so it has been very mild. But they don't taste too bittery, or actually they don't really taste bittery at all. So um, they do get afternoon shade. That's uh, sun goes down about four o'clock over there by my bed now this stuff 
and I need your help on this if everyone can see this I'm not sure what that is in my little diagram that I have on that box I have this stuff planted this is the sorry European mescaline salad and I'm thinking it's that on this picture and I looked it up and I believe it is arugula so if anyone knows for sure if you're watching this video and just please uh, throw it in the comments is that arugula or not I've already had some of it and um, you know I didn't get sick or nothing so that was kale I just showed you and then again so more of the stuff here more of the arugula if that is arugula it is growing great that's the biggest plants I have out there and then here we got a couple of the leaves this did not start growing very good I got one head out there that's growing so I'm gonna replant this in a couple of the squares that are empty and that is the lettuce outrageous romaine type heads so I wouldn't mind getting a little bit more color into the salad so I definitely wanna get this going and I'm also gonna try and do some more rainbow char it didn't grow at all this first time I planted but these arugulas if that's what it is I mean they're good size man so yeah I have some more dinosaur kale so my square foot garden is starting to take off a little that's definitely a family sized if not more salad right there um, and then tomorrow I'll show you what the beds actually look like right now it's a uh, almost seven o'clock I think or 630 so it's pretty dark um, but anyway I'm gonna go chop that up maybe a little balsamic vinaigrette and have some salad for dinner talk to y'all later okay so here's a square foot garden what I was harvesting out of tons of different lettuces I just watered these so they're a little laying down there's that one red outrageous lettuce just planted new seeds of that here my dinosaur kale and all my other kales curly variety are just blowing up more dinosaur kale back there One bush bean, my peas are, they're starting to get moving. They're not really growing too, too fast, but they're getting there. You see the real thin grabbers, so eventually they'll grab onto this trellis and hopefully make its way up there. Poblanos are really loving this weather. They're taking off. Got a lot of nice poblanos. So that plant's doing really well. My giant Marconis are moving along. Not doing too bad. Come down here and look at these little guys. Those are those weird name Alasku something. I'll look it up and put it on here. But look at this. Look at all of these little, just these little peppers. And my Jimmy Nardello plant, which I've been picking off of throughout the last month or two. Of course, my purple jalapenos are still producing. And there's my Landrith stringless bush beans, or growing no flowers yet but they're looking pretty good and that's it but yeah I'm actually ready to harvest another big bowl full maybe tomorrow after I get off of work real quick it is December what 7th I think or something my neighbor got their lights on and here are my lights. 
Got some penguins. My bushes are lit up with some LEDs. Looks good as it gets darker. Just got that snowflake, that's new. And all around the garage, all the lights change colors. And the Christmas tree, I just made that out of a pallet. That's homemade. Straight from a pallet. 100 count bulb strand fits perfect on it. So yeah. We'll get back to the garden a later time. Have a good night. Hey guys, how you doing? I just wanted to show you what I drove home to today. My neighbor next door owns a tree company. Well, one night we were hanging out having a few beers and I had mentioned I would like some wood chips to start filling in the, my backyard area. And I, he's like, oh, would a truck full do? Or a truck full do okay? And I was like, yeah, a truck full's fine. I drove home. Look at it, it's up almost above the hood of my truck. And let me tell you, that is a pile of wood chips. Holy cow. I gotta go buy a wheelbarrow this weekend at Lowe's. I'm gonna have a wood chip party. I think I might invite some friends. See y'all later.